Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset and factory restore Windows 10 HP computer back to default. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you either want to left go on the little gear icon on the left where if you hover over it it says settings or type in settings into the start menu, whichever you prefer. And now once you're on a screen that appears like this, you want to scroll down to get to update and security. Left click on that tile. Now on the left side here, left click on the recovery tab. Underneath recovery now on the right, if you draw your attention over here, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on get started here. So now we have two options. If you want to do a complete clean factory reset, I recommend left clicking on remove everything. If you want to keep files, which is a little bit misleading because it will remove apps and settings, you can select that option as well. Now in either case, I would recommend backing up any personal or sensitive files or documents to an external source like a USB flash drive, DVD, CD, whatever you prefer. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select remove everything. And depending on what choice you make, it's going to affect a couple more prompts down the line. So just be patient here. We're going to have another couple prompts we're going to have to go through. It's going to ask you want to clean the drives too. First option, just remove my files. Second option is remove files and clean the drive. The main difference is the first option, if you're just going to be using your computer again later, I'd recommend just selecting the first option. It is quicker. Second option, if you're going to be donating or giving your computer away to somebody else, I'd recommend selecting the second option. But again, most people are probably going to be good with the first option here. So I'm going to select that. And this is our last confirmation before we reset our PC, which will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs as well as any changes made to settings this will take a while and your PC will restart left click on the reset button this will take a few minutes to run so please be patient depending on your hardware specifications it could be a little quicker or slower in your individual case but again it's really a case by case basis there just definitely a lot some time be patient and once we get rolling I will be back
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select Not Now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, so it looks like the computer has finished the factory reset. At this point, you should be able to put any programs you had to remove. If you wanted to put any documents or files back, you're more than welcome to. And then I would recommend just as good practice once you have your computer in a configuration you like. I would recommend creating a system restore point for good measure, and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.